hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a little quick review situation <laughs> on these Jane Carter solution products I have the untangle me weightless leave-in from the curls to go collection as well as the coiling all curls elongating gel from the curls to go collection so um, curls to go really focuses on the wash and go person the leave-in claims to hydrate detangle and reduce frizz with mango butter slippery almond marshmallow root and the gel claims to elongate curls control frizz and reduce shrinkage with nettle aloe vera and coconut oil and those are all ingredients i love to have in a gel let's go ahead and get right into it i'm really excited about this leave-in because everyone talks about how good this stuff is and everyone talks about how good jane carter is in general so now let's try that. Oh, that feels nice. My eye just changed. You just buzzed the front gate. I thank God you came. How many more days could I wait? I made plans with you, and I won't let them fall through. So my hair looks super duper shiny. It already has really nice definition added to it. A lot of the frizz that I had um, prior to applying the leave-in has already gone down. So let me go ahead. I'm going to finish applying the rest of this leave-in. And then we will get into the gel. Okay guys, so I have all of that leave-in applied and that was such a really easy, simple process. This leave-in just goes on like butter. So let's go on to the Coiling All Curls Elongating Gel. Elongates curls, controls frizz, reduces shrinkage. Now I don't necessarily believe in any product reducing your shrinkage. I think that is a myth. So I just shook it up because it seemed a little too runny and I guess like whatever oils and stuff were in it kind of separated. So I just took two pumps. This smells really, really nice too. Has a has that jelly texture, but this is um lighter than like an Uncle Funkies or a curl maker. Just so I can 
All right guys, so all of the product is applied to my hair and I don't know how I feel about it yet. Looking at my hair in the mirror, it definitely, like my curls are definitely defined. Um, it's just odd because the gel didn't go on how I expected it to at all. It kind of foamed up once it kind of touched that leave-in. So I was not expecting that at all, but my curls do look really good. Um, and so maybe that's what they mean by elongating because it doesn't seem like, you know how like curl maker, once it hits your hair, like it'll kind of stretch it out a little bit and then it really starts to draw back up. The only way I can see this possibly being elongating is if it doesn't really draw the hair up and it just kind of freezes everything in place. Let me show you the back real quick. Total style time only took about 20 minutes. Um, when I'm not filming, it will probably only take me about 15, depending on how rough it, my hair is that day. But both of these products have really, really awesome slip. And I used about the same amount of product in each. <laughs> so, um, that's helpful. I do kind of like when I finish the leave-in and the styler at the same time. Both of these have a really, really nice smell. It's kind of perfumey. If you are sensitive to scents, then the scents might bother you. But, um, I think they smell really, really pleasant. I'm really imp impressed with the slip on these. And then also, I did want to note that glycerin is the second ingredient on both of these. So, you know, for me, wash and go season is like that spring summer time, but spring summer also brings a lot of humidity. So um, we're actually supposed to get a lot of rain today and I think it is going to be humid outside. So I will let you know how everything works. If anything, that humidity will just make my hair draw up more. <laughs> but um, right now it does kind of feel like I put a foam in my hair. Like it doesn't feel like I put a gel in my hair. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this works. But both of these have really good ingredients. Both of these have really, really nice slip. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of what my hair looks like tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow with my final results and I'll let you guys know how Jane Carter Curls To Go, the wash and wear for super curly and curly hair, works on my coils. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back. And these are my final results using Jane Carter Curls To Go. Let me turn around so y'all can see what the back is looking like. So, overall, this wash and go is a very soft wash and go. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera <laughs> because, um,. For such a soft wash and go, I have a lot of shine. I do have some frizz, um, and that is because, like I said, yesterday we did have rain. I did get a little bit of rain on my hair, you know, just, it happens. But for something that, uh-oh, Ellie and Z are out at the same time. Crisis temporarily avoided. Uh, no, no. Z. I might have to kick her out. Let's just see if we can get through this video without me having to stop to break anything up. But um, my hair is super duper soft. Now it feels incredibly moisturized, super nourished. Um, my hair feels really, really good. It's not that it doesn't have a cast to it. It's just that that cast is not anything hard. It's a super flexible cast. You can feel that you have some type of holding product on your hair, but it's not going to feel like a traditional gel. So let's go ahead and go over the claims. So the overall claims on this leave-in are that it hydrates to tangles and reduces frizz. Untangle Me is a weightless leave-in conditioner, great for wash and wear curly styles. Perfect as a first step to detangle and defrizz. It feeds curls with nourishment as it creates light springy curls. Um, and I agree with every single claim on this packaging. The slip on this conditioner is insane. It is, oh, I actually have it right here. Probably the most comparable thing that you can get to slip and slide, honestly. Like this, 
has insane slip. I expected this to be more similar to like the Kinky Curly Not Today or the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler just by how it looked in the packaging, but it's nothing like that. This is super light and it literally leaves your hair weightless, like literally weightless. Um, I know that this leave-in is a big player in how my hair is just so springy and soft. But still defined. This was defining my hair before I even put the gel in. Like as soon as it went onto my hair, um, it instantly penetrated into my strands. You couldn't see any of that residue on my hair when I applied this. This right here is amazing. I'm gonna try it with other things. I wanna try it out with my Uncle Funky's Curly Magic and my Ren Pure Jelly. Um, because those two have kind of been like my go-to's on my off days. So I definitely want to try this with that and see how um, that combination works. As far as the gel goes, so this claims to elongate curls, control frizz, and reduce shrinkage with nettle, aloe vera, and coconut oil. Um, this says that cooling all curls is great to apply to wet or damp hair to elongate curls. It dries clean, leaving hair shiny and frizz free. Hair will have amazing curl definition. Simplify your wash and wear hair for curl elongation on super curly to coily hair. Add shine and controls frizz. So, I am like 50-50 with this gel. This definitely, I can't imagine this gel being a staple in my routine. I'll just say that. I like, I can't, I can't see me running back to this like I run back to Curl Maker. Uncle Funky's Ren Pure, or even my like She Sent It Pomegranate Pear Oil and Gel, or my Eco Gold. Like, I can't imagine this being something that I would just like gush about, you know what I mean? As far as the elongation goes, y'all see my hair. I do feel like this has my curls a little bit more downturned um, than some of my other products, but um, some of that is also just like I said. The length of my hair is really starting to show. I'm definitely having a little bit more hang time. Controls frizz, that's going to be weather dependent. It's going to be climate dependent. I'm just gonna tell you that now. Perfect for like spring weather. That deep south humidity, I don't know if I would love this for that. Um, and then it does say that it reduces shrinkage. I mean, elongates curls and reduces shrinkage. That's redundant, right? It's the same thing. It does not. Like, it does not for me. It says it leaves your hair shiny. It definitely leaves my hair shiny. Dries clean, absolutely. I don't have any white residue. I don't have any flaking. Um, my hair looks really, really healthy. Overall, this gel is not my favorite. The application kind of weirded me out because it really did like foam up in my hair and you guys saw that. I will finish this up because I do like the overall look that I got with this, but this is very similar to the look that I get when I use my Apricot and Alipe stylers from She Sent It. Um, I have a video on my channel reviewing those products and I also have a short Instagram tutorial, so either run over to Insta or I will link that video up here for you guys to check out. Um, but I get a very similar look when I use those products. I have a lot of gels, I have a lot of jellies. This one just isn't, it's not a showstopper for me. I honestly thought that I would like it more because of all of the rave reviews, especially from people with hair types that are similar than my, to mine. Um, I will say if you are someone that, if you have more coarse strands, I think that you will appreciate this, and I say that because it's very softening. Um, and so if you are looking for something that's going to be a little bit more softening and give you that touchably soft hair, this is a really good option. I think that I will definitely want to keep this leave-in around in my collection. The slip is just A1, it smells amazing, it just, it did so many great things to my hair and I just want to see like what other things it will work with. And then depending on that, like it will decide whether it stays around for me. This I highly recommend for anybody that's struggling with tangles, knots, all that good stuff. The jelly, meh. Like it's cool. It gave me a really nice wash and go. Um, I'll probably get like two days out of it. This was nice. 
absolutely not my favorite. I have other things in my collection that I would gravitate to before I would gravitate to this. If it didn't dry so odd in my hair, I think I would be more apt to use it more, but that's not the case. I got both of these products for $6.99 at um, Marshalls. I think each one runs about around the $10 price point. I will annotate just in case. But I do find these a little difficult to get your hands on. I personally had never seen them on the ground until I saw them at Marshalls. So it just kind of is what it is. I wanted to try them, smell them, all that good stuff on the ground before I committed to ordering them online. But yeah, so this is a winner. The gel is just okay. It's cool, but it's not going to beat out anything else in my collection that I absolutely love. Let me know, have you guys tried the Jane Carter Curls to Go collection? Obviously, I'm late on this train, but I feel like it's hard to find, and so a lot of people just kind of forgot about it because Jane Carter releases and it takes away and it releases a lot. You guys know I have talked about the co-wash. I have raved about that co-wash, so I highly suggest the co-wash and the Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In so far. Those are the two standout products for me with Jane Carter. Um, and if you have any other like Jane Carter favorites that you think that I would love, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick review. I have a really big haul coming, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!